So David, the Oscars look pretty much according to script, according to who's won so far, uh, if we buy the uh, King speech winning Best Picture because it's taken the guilds, and of mm -hmm. course we've got Natalie Portman, and we've got Christian Bale, and we've got um, Colin Firth, but you're calling for this upset for Haley Seinfeld, why? Well, a couple of years ago, remember when Best Supporting Actress was really anyone's, and I, I thought that Tilda Swinton could win. Right, you were Clayton. calling that, I was unbe unbelievable. And that, my argument there was that Michael Clayton was so beloved, I think it had seven nominations, and it was a clear loser in six of those seven okay. races. And I thought, wow, this is the only race where Michael Clayton could actually win. Besides the fact that Tilda Swinton was great, I thought this was the one place where the Academy could actually give that movie a prize. And I feel like alongside Roger Deakins, who I think has a shot for uh, being Film the DP of, uh, of True Grit, I think um, Haley, cin cin cinematographer. No, <laughs> I think that Haley Steinfeld is probably the other best bet at a win for True Grit, which has 10 nominations. They're going to want it to go home with something. And I think fans of The Fighter, yes, Melissa Leo has been sweeping everything, but fans of that movie might split between her and Amy Adams. I'm sorry, that ad that she put out on, on her own behalf, some people think is great. I've heard more voters telling me that they thought it was not a great move. And I've heard some voters telling me that, they, that she lost their vote because of that ad. So I think if there is a major category that has an upset brewing, that's the one. And I think oh, Haley's oh, the one who could do it. But Haley, because of the true grit factor that- And she's a, great. Okay. But you know, she doesn't have that wink, that charm that Kim Darby did in the 1969 movie. She didn't even get nominated, of course. It may have been a case of falling between the category cracks, leading supporting. But uh, Haley plays this pretty stern. You know, she's, uh, I find this she, man who killed my daddy. You I know? thought she was de so delightful. I had a smile on my face the entire time she was on okay. screen. And I think every time she does a Q&A or makes an appearance, she wins more and more people over. She's very charming. She's very personable. I did an event with her at the Santa Barbara Film Festival, and she had the audience eating out of the palm of her hand. So I think, it, and as you and I both know, in a close race, the younger candidate I know, wins. I know, I know. So I, I think that she's got a shot. Does Jeffrey Rush have a shot to beat Christian Bale with a uh, real King Speech bandwagon taking off? Yeah, I definitely think he has a shot. I don't think it's going to happen, but I think he has a chance. Um, but I think the fact that he has an Oscar already in the lead category, I think they're well, probably... Gene Hackman, come on. I know. Uh, Jack Nicholson are people who won in lead first and then in supporting later. Yeah. It's but, happened. But got up against Christian Bale for the fighter, though. I know. What I know. That's a, a little tough one. What about Annette Benning? Any shot? I think she has a shot. Yeah. I think she's campaigning a lot more these last couple of weeks. I think the fact that the kids are all right only got one fewer nomination overall than Black Swan shows that it might be closer than people think. Um, she is on the Board of Governors. She does have four nominations. And she's amazing in the film. I still think it's Natalie Portman's to lose, but I, I think an upset could possibly happen there, too. I'm not, but I wouldn't predict it right now. The preferential voting for Best Picture always lends itself to mystery mm -hmm. and uh, things that we can't tell will happen because it's so new. Uh, is an upset possible there if we really get down and dirty between Social Network and King's Speech? I don't think so. I think last year with the preferential voting, it was clear that people who did not have Avatar number one we're probably not going to have it number two or three. You mm -hmm. either had Avatar number one or it was at the bottom of your ballot. I think people, if you don't have King's Speech or Social Network number one, you're going to have it pretty high up there okay. anyway. I don't think that there's crowds of people who really dislike either of those films. So I, I get the feeling that King's Speech will probably have the most number one votes and probably the most number two votes too. Okay. That's a what do you think? Solid argument. I buy it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You got it.